Hey YouTube, here's my rack for my corn snakes. I got it off. I forget who did it, but it's the shoving rack from Home Depot. So that's where I did mine a different way. I put the uh, tile board on the bottom and left the lids on. Now, it works perfect with the lids off. But if you plan on building one of these and leaving the lids on, you just got to work at it a little bit to get them out. But they do come out, they're tight, and you just have to wiggle them in and out. But I prefer to have the lids on than off. I've had corn snakes before and they're escape artists. I'm going to have the uh, flex wall heat tape there. So this is just a how I made it, figured out it's a lot lighter to go on top of the cage with the Argus, which I'll be building him another new enclosure soon. I don't know where he's at. But this is the rack that I built. And up here we have the hissing cockroaches. Got like three babies in there. I don't know what's going on with them. Basically, the overview of the cages that I built so far. Got the Tegu and the Doomrolls monitor in this one, five by six, six by two and a half by like five and five high. And then you have the Argus monitor in a four by two by three, and then you have the rack with the corn snakes in it. And we have Noisy Jake. Alright, that's all I have for now.